for the most part, wonderfully observed. One or two not realising the relevance of the moment. The anthems now to be sung the Simone anthem by Rosalind Clay, first of all. Together for the national anthem of Samoa, performed a by Rosalind Clay. So National Anthem of Samoa, yeah, hit that subscribe button to see more of these events uh, in London. That's it. Rugby World Cup, yeah, final. Samoan players out there, those Samoan supporters in the stands and for Samoans all around the world as well. And the uh, God Save the Great King now will be sung by Daniel Lenn. Awesome, awesome. God save the king. Wow, this is great. So remember to hit that subscribe button for this Rugby World Cup final between Samoa and England. This is going to be an awesome match. So... Yeah, hit that subscribe button. Here we go. Absolutely fantastic game of rugby league here today. Two nations, two cultures, two rugby league teams colliding on this stage. And if we needed to be lifted any higher out of our seats ahead of this game, then get ready for what comes next. The Manu Sivatau, the cultural call to challenge from the Samoans. This is where we are. This is the scene right in front of us here now. The England players respectfully taking up a line on the halfway. They will not give a step as Samar prepare for this challenge. It was very, very special last week, wasn't it, when Samar and Tonga did it in tandem. I think this is going to be equally as stirring. Enjoy this, boys. Enjoy this, boys, until we start. You can hear the expectation going around the stadium, can't you? And you know what's coming. And you go. God save we'll the this. kin. Yeah. 
suspension so he's back Matinese drops out otherwise it's the same 17 that went up against the Salah what seems like an age away Luke Thompson recalled onto the bench as well after being left out in a recent couple of weeks Salah had lost hooker Danny Leamy who's uh, returned home for family reasons Farmana Brown of West Tigers comes in but he spent quite a lot of time recently at Featherstone Rovers as well he will start as the dummy half, Julia Paolo successfully appealed against a one-match ban to play today. Referee team is always important as well, but look at this. Look at the emotion. Look at the passion. Look at the challenge. Can they replicate that on the pitch? England refusing to back down, keeping eye contact throughout the whole of that. Look at them staring back. Well, I think we know what kind of a game we're going to get here today. Just from that. Can he keep control? Jared Sutton, referee. Jack Smith, Darian Furner, the touch judges. Adam G in amongst all the video replays as a video referee. It's a long, long way from Newcastle to London. It's a long, long time it seems since the opening match between these two. England are hoping for a similar outcome, but no one is expecting a similar margin of victory. Nobody expected it that day, to be fair, but I think we'd all be absolutely shocked if it was as one-sided today either way. This is a contest. This is Samoa on Rugby League's world stage, and that's a very clever piece of thinking from Dom Young. Cool head right from the start to put his foot out of play and catch that ball on the fall to give England position back on the halfway line. Well, this is all about pressure today. Can England handle the pressure? The pressure of expectation, the pressure of doing some things today that they haven't done all of the tournament, which is maybe kick from their own end of the field and handle those crunch moments in the game. I also think it's, it's crucial about the start. I think Samora have given uh, give England a leg up here. But if England can carry on starting the way they have done in this competition, you know, there should be some pressure on Samoa. One or two big fellas have been really hitting their straps, haven't they? Burgess and Hill in games so far, and they're setting the platform earlier on as well. 
as England put pressure on this Samoan line in the very first minute. McLaurin dances out a dummy half to that right hand side. Wellsby brings it back to the middle. And over the top. Brilliant saving tackle. Williams was over, but a brilliant saving tackle on that occasion from Brown. Now the kick to the corner, making some batters off his shoulder. Out of play, tap up from the 20. Great from England. Great from Samoa. Well, pressure early on from the Samoan defence, and they came through with flying colours, I think. Scramble defence on shore, kicking game from England to perfection. Megan just has to collect this ball in as he dives for the corner. Just can't quite do it. Yeah, two spots on kicks there by Jack Wellsby. Probably showing his arm a little bit that, you know, this aggressive defence, the intensity at the start of the game. I think he was trying to counteract that by kicking behind. Interesting, there's a little contest there between Callum Watkins and Tim Lafay, the two. Sold for the teammates. Their coach, uh, Paul Rudd, is here today. We we're chatting with him earlier. He said he sent them both a text earlier today. Good luck. Keep safe. <laughs> he wants them fit and ready. Clowder with a drive in. The dummy half. It's Brown. Samar advancing inside that England half. And looking left here with Lafay. Gets the offload away. He's been terrific, hasn't he, Lafay, since coming into the Samar camp? But that won't surprise anybody who's watched him in Super League this last year. Back with Luai towards this centre patch again. Paolo put down. Last play for Samoa. Milford dances away from the initial attempt of tackle, but his kicks out on the floor. They're making a habit of that. And that's what England need to do. They need to pressure the halfbacks and pressure the kicking game. I'm sure Samoa will do the same. But at the minute, the kicking game, one from the start, and that one there from Milford, both out on the full. Yeah, huge pressure on Milford and Luai for this Samoan team. And I think one of the questions that we need to answer, or England need to answer, can they go into a game and go set to set? So one of those games is Nick and Tuck, and they're both kicking, and they're both getting to each other end of the field. That's a question mark over England and their defence. And for Samoa after last week, well, we know what they can do with the ball. It's for England to disrupt that system. Here comes Hill, looking to uh, have a little bit of a... Small explosion in the middle of the park, but well met by those three Samoan defenders. Bradley and Tompkins, and they're getting a bit of a bit of wind there with Bateman. Into the sunshine, away from the shadows. Bradley again comes scooting across and has a look. Has to take the tackle. Last play here, England. Still 30 metres plus away from where they want to be, so Williams puts that up. Little bit of pressure here on Suwalihi, who's down and just about had feet on ground.